Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, man. I'm in the building, man, with my guy, Al D300, who done took over my show, man. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? We, he done took gonna... over the show, man. man. He said he was going to come through for me. Uh, yeah. Thank you for coming. Man, you know how we do it, man. I wouldn't miss it for the world. We got the big homie up here, and we're going to do it how we do it. Hey, man, say, man, we got a special guest, man, all the way from L.A.? L.A., Watts, man. California. Watts, California, man. Hey, man, Nino Cappuccino's in the building. It's a pleasure, boss, man. It's a pleasure. Man, man. I really I really see B.J. the bounty hunter. What is, I, who the hell is this, man? I mean, I can't, you got to tell me what's going on, because that's what I, I had on the fly at first. Right, right, right. Right? We took that off. Right, right. Cause we seen it on, I, I actually seen you tagged in with the young guy that we interviewed earlier. Uh, Young Supreme? No, it wasn't Supreme. The 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 boxing guy, the guy that uh, the, it, oh, I don't Trent, remember. Yeah, Trent. yeah, you was on a page, and I clicked on that. I said, Nino Cappuccino, who the hell is? You know, because I'm green. I'm I'm looking at all the 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 spliff interviews and all the stuff with with say B J the Bounty Hunter. Right, right. So how did it change? It? And what's up? Just, just let well, me know it, who you <laughs> are. <laughs> just to just to break that down. Um, Double OG Bunny Hunter BJ is a characteristic that was really built in reality. This ain't no internet character. Like a lot of these characters on the internet is just watered down characteristics they have built for, with them themselves for us, a marketing standpoint to better get money and make these pages monetized, which is smart. You, know, you can't knock it for that. So it's characteristic. So that's why a lot of dudes is misunderstood and misconstrued in the business of this level as far as the digital aspect, this world we in now, because they don't understand its characters. Yeah. However, it just so happened I entered this digital world with a real life life character, as well as a, a lot of other real G's that's on the internet who come from that life, that walk of life, used to be these certain characters. So my character was Double OG Bunny Hunter BJ, which was a character that was really built within myself when I was doing my thing for 29 and a half, almost 30 active years, active duty years, should I say, to these streets, devoted to my neighborhood, Nixon Gardens. Salute. Man, so Nixon Garden, man, you know, I had a, and I guess right into it, I had a, a viral moment here a few weeks ago uh, where uh, it was Charleston White, Melvin Farmer, and I told Lamar was on, on the show. Mm. And, um, you know, some things were said, some back and forths. Mm -hmm. And once that happened, boom, you know, it all just fell. I felt like I was I was right on the breakfast club. I, I put this out, too. And Baby walked in and say, put some respect on my name. And then yeah. they say, are you finished or is you done? And walked out. There. And that's how the, I would have thought that intensity would have been the way that happened that day. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, um, California, I got love for California. You know what I mean? I'm an interviewer, right? I interview people. And it was a lot of backlash, like people, you know, a lot of DMs, a lot of stuff being said, like, man, you didn't let this person talk. Or you Did you see my interview? Yeah, I seen it, man. Okay. Of course I seen okay. it. Okay, everybody done seen it. I mean, I, I didn't but see it. But I'm glad you came on I, the show because it helps me, to be yeah, honest I, with I, you. I, I didn't <laughs> see it. I didn't see it from everybody else's standpoint because yeah. everybody, not me. See, me... For one, I chose to place myself in this position and on these platforms in this walk of life for a reason. Not no motherfucking play play, excuse my friends, but not no play play. This is business. This ain't some, oh, oh, I'm personal, I'm in my feelings shit. So you have to have a clear understanding of what you're dealing with when you come on these platforms. I open the doors up for people to be opinionated about their opinions. This is an opinion. I don't mean you deserve that opinion or your opinion is right. It's your opinion. You're entitled to it. Because I know who I am at the end of the day. I know what I've done, what I've accomplished, what I've done neg negatively as well as positively in my life. So I don't need some stranger that's in your mama basement on her Wi-Fi bill trying to tell me or struck my life. You know I get mean? it. I get it. It makes I, sense. It don't make it, I don't care. I, I so, feel where you're coming from. So so first and foremost, I, I want to you know, re-innovate on what you just said. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I watched it based on research. Yeah. So I, I'm coming from a whole different mind frame of it. I watched it based on research. I watched it A1, A target number enemy number one, as the internet want to put it. Mr. Charleston White, AK Charlie White. I gave him that second handle. 
because that's what his name is out of respect, Charlie White. Charlie White, let me break it down for TV land so they know right now why I gave him this new handle. And he responds from it from me. And soon he will respond from from the rest of the world too as well because he had a dynamic understanding of how I broke the shit down because he knew it was the truth just like he'd been telling the people the truth. Charlie White is that activist. Charlie White is that nigga went in there and knocked down doors and cussed the white folks out and got at these political people based on these grants and the money aspect of where why this money ain't trickling down into these communities, these black communities. Yeah. That's really what Charlie White did, my nigga. Now, Charleston White, I wouldn't give a fuck about Charleston White. And I told that nigga that. I don't give a fuck about Charleston White. Charlie, I respect the shit out of you, Charlie. And you know what? Shout out to my boy Charleston, a.k.a. Charlie White. Me and Charlie end up building a mental, off top, understanding of respect. Because that's the first thing I told him. I ain't none of them dudes. Shout out to Marvin, the big homie Marvin. Shout out to Melvin. 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 Yeah. Shout out to... Um, I told him all. Yeah, I told that's him all. That's my big homie. From Baru. Shout yeah, out okay. to Melvin. You know what I mean? Shout uh, out to them cats, uh, man, the brothers. Uh, uh, the other other guy, too, uh, that he had, Mob James. Mob James, had a, yeah. All is stimulated behind uh, different things that counteracted. But, and, but and, I'm going to finna tip you something. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, it's, it's shocking. Yeah. Because now, as, as, as I... I I, said, I told myself, I said, first and foremost, um, let me just take you back how I got introduced to Charlie. Big Spliff, Unc Spliff, you know me, behind me, you know, that's my business partner slash producer, that's a big Unc. We were in class and we bought in the game something different. Spliff D media. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, sir. A1, I went to film school, I graduated, I put myself through film school, I graduated top of my class with master degree. Coming out of Nixon Garden as a known body, and I did what niggas can't do, what they think is impossible, so I did it, I led by example. And when I told my homies I was gonna do this 15, 20 years ago, damn it, they thought I was crazy. Instead of taking my, my dirty money and keep doing what they was doing, doing, I done had all the baddest material shit, cars, I done did it, bro. So I said, man, I, I got a vision, which I should've, I should've been this way, a long time ago, but since like, the streets got me, okay, that's the past. I left that behind me. This is why the character Bonnie Hunter BJ was retired. Okay. He was buried. The internet brought him back to life. It wasn't me. I didn't come on this internet screaming Bonnie Hunter BJ until I opened up and told one story on Gangster Chronicles. Okay. And the world, went, it was rap. So I, that character was a rise, so I utilized it. So now it's, he's a part of this mission. He's a part of this whole this whole strategic plan that I'm on and my plan and my vision is to build this platform to be able to deliver the real, the reality, the uncut raw to the people who's willing to educate and listen. Gangs ain't something to glorify and first and foremost. I'm not going to sit on your show, no show, any show and talk about how many bodies I done dropped, my color, your color, his color and brag about it. No, I was buffoon. I was messed up. I was jacked up in the head but I did certain shit. I made mama's cry, daddy's cry and I would be the first to admit to all that. So this is why me and Charlie was able to sit down and have a real mutual grown man talking understanding because I came to that brother in peace. I didn't come to him on some A1, I'm in my feelings too. Nigga, you owe me some money. You getting money and I'm in my feelings. I'm jealous of you because this is what's going on. Niggas don't want to admit it. Oh, yeah. They don't want to judge it. Wow. You want to jump on the internet and get seen to be heard and be seen. Niggas don't want to admit it. Yeah. And, and to me, I don't speak uncut because I can give a fuck. I ain't no nigga going to do nothing to me. Fact. Shit, yeah. nothing. Fight, fuck, no, nothing. I don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. I ain't step on niggas told I speak reality. No, I get it. You feel I me? Get it. So I got to the bottom and I told myself, I told my team, I told him he's in prime with it. I said, watch what I'm gonna do. I said, I guarantee you, I'm gonna be the one in the first, the only, probably the only primarily from Los Angeles to speak out of the West Coast that's gonna be able to sit down and have a conversation with him and me and him gonna talk, talk to the where the world gonna end up seeing two real men, King come from Duke do different walks of life and speak on the graphics of the same thing because we both, we striving for the same entity at the end of the day. Peace, harmony, a change in our people. He just said it in a language and lingual niggas is in their feelings and I'm going to tell you why he's speaking it that way. It's, if I take this coin out of my pocket and I flip it, it's going to go in the air and I call and I say, what you got, King? He might say, tails, big homie. And it land on heads. Okay, heads is my story. So all y'all heard right now is my story. So everybody believe in Cap's story. But y'all don't know King got another side to that story. Ain't nobody heard it. And he ain't even revealed it. This is what happened. And I ain't going into the depths for it because me and him got a plan where the world well, on here. Well, here, 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 here's, my here's my deal, man. I just, uh, 
like I said, when I first talked with you, I, I was real keen of the fact, all right, man, we I want to hear your story. I don't want to hear about what his deal is because at the end of the day, um, you know, you have a story, you 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 have a background that people that can help some people and nobody can tell it in the way that you're gonna tell it. Right. So that's that was what I was pulling for when we talked. Right, about exactly. It. I got a I got a thousand things that I that I would like to get into, you know, into a discussion with you about. But since you started it with that one, which is the definitely the one I didn't want to talk about. Like <laughs> he did. I don't wanna talk about that. But well, since we in it, let's let's go on Okay. Um Whatever, again, I got to start like this. Whatever success God got for Charleston White, I pray that he get it. You know, that I, it's nothing that I don't want him to have that he's striving for as far as for his family and all of that. With that being said, man, I, we not fucking with that. Like, just because it's, it's, it's internet and it's doing its thing on the internet, in the internet land, and I, I see the, the smarts. Of what he doing. Right. As far as on to building his platform through the means and mechanism that he do it. But I'm just somebody believe that it's more harm to that shit than good. I don't I, I you can put when you mix when you mix good truth with falsehood together, all that shit fucked up. So when I see him pushing that line, disrespecting people who and and I'm not gonna go too far and you know why I'm not gonna go too far, because he's not here. Exactly. I would just I would just caution people to keep in mind that some of these people that's being discussed um that are no longer here past gone and dead, mm -hmm. these was good people too, <clears throat> man. Right, these was right. people that changed their communities and their lives and, and the lives of their families for generations and generations to come. And if you could say something disrespectful about them and get a quarter uh, or if you could say something disrespectful to any honorable person about mm -hmm. any honorable person and get a quarter of what a Nipsey Hussle or a Dolpha or whatever was able to accomplish with their own grind and determination, you would gladly do it. Charleston White lost me when he said some shit about Farrakhan. Like, I thought well, that was the one person that we all pretty much agreed on. Right. But, you know, I ain't yeah. trying to go too far with <laughs> it. That's me, just, me, just how just, I feel about it. Just that. so we could dab in it and, mm -hmm. and get out of and it. get out of it. I want to respond to that, though. Okay. Because now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I my whole point was, I want to know why this nigga mad. Why he, Tyler, to okay. Why this nigga so mad and why is he cussing out the West Coast? Because that was primarily my concern at the time when it came down to the B's and the C's, just that whole culture. You know what I mean? Like I say, I'm retired in the game in it, man. So I ain't in my feelings about no rudeness of disrespect. If I was, I'd be in the streets and I'd be smashing, I'd be putting it down in that aspect with soldiers and teaching the young niggas, well, nigga, this is what it is when nigga disrespect this. Mm -hmm. This is where I go. I ain't even, I'm not out here regulating on that level. Right. I wouldn't even give them that kind of advice because, dog, we shouldn't even be in tune on that shit at this point of time in our life any fucking way, man. Yeah. I mean, this is 2021. Thanks. Let's talk about a resolution. Let's talk about resolve. Let's talk about something different as far as change. My whole thing was, again, I don't condone a lot of shit that this nigga said and, and spoke on because I told him myself personally. Like I said, I don't, I don't got to speak on it to the world to elaborate of it to make a point. But yeah. I agree with you at a thousand percent about certain things you said, like A1, it's not, you, you, you shouldn't be, nobody should be disrespecting the deceased. The deceased is gone despite what your kings format as well. Kings. Kings. kings yeah, right? but, they, but they, I, they, I have they put to, it down I, I, in that community. To, I, have say, but, oh, on, I have to say, oh, you know, he give his points of why he right, do what let he me, do, Let bro. me get to that. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. getting to that. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not taking nothing from nothing, but I'm going to speak facts because I had this conversation with him. That's why I say, I could we stand on this platform and literally talk and speak especially in retro respect on both sides of the coin. That's why I said there's tails to the coin. There's two heads. sides. You got that right. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. the only reason. If I didn't talk to this man, then my whole demeanor would probably be yours too. Fuck that nigga. Fuck Charleston White. And tell that nigga I'm in not, Texas not right now. Not that much strength but, because but the man is 150 pound one bro, black I'm, 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 guy but, never but, shot but, but, shit but, never but, did but, 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 I ain't got no energy for him. It don't but, matter. But it don't, it don't matter day, for that homie. We didn't know exactly. matter. I come from a land from if you get into if you get in this shit yeah. and you Talk that shit, then you better be prepared for the consequences. Yeah. We, I don't come from no land where, oh, you a little guy and it's the big homie or the old dude. A little, 
You you bought your 15 years old here with grown men talking your mouth. So we're going to whoop your ass, send you home to go get your big brother, your daddy, and then they come back and get some of this too. That's the land I come from. Right. So it don't matter. L again, let me just, just say this so we can get up out of this. Okay, man. I just, I build a verbal understanding to understand where this nigga was coming from with majority of the concepts of what he spoke on from the negativity. Again, the coin was flipped. Us, America, we don't know. Only the dudes who were involved with him who made this exchange and made him feel the way he felt is why the coin flipped. I can't get into details and in telling it, which I can, right? because he told it to me. But it ain't my position in place. It's for him to tell it, because he ain't never told the internet this shit. But I got it out of him, but, bro. But you know I, when I hear him talk, I he talk, give a hold fuck on. It's all out. No, no, well, but, but at so, the end of the day, I, I hear him talk about uh, gang violence and people that have died, kids that uh, may get caught up in different situations. Okay, so so is it any any hope for the youth? For Hell us to yeah. Talk? No, right. Here, here's, here's the, here's the you thing. Know, you got to think about that, here, too. You here's can't the just, thing right here, E, and I'm going to nip it in the bud and we can move on. Thank you. What he just said is this. Because this is what I told Charlie. This is why I balanced it and made him understand the differential between, nigga, to me, you Charlie White, if I'm talking to you on, on sense, stuff that's making sense, stuff that has... He make a lot of sense well, at a lot of stuff he so, say, so bro. This is, this you is can't deny it. This is, I'm, this is my point of Charlie White. <laughs> you're but great. when it come to talk, <laughs> you're listen, great listen, at your job. Charlie White. But when it come to fucking Charleston White, nigga Charleston White ain't no different than that nigga Bonnie Hunter BJ you want to put on that I screen. Agree. He's I, a I, fucking I, character. I agree to He Charlie, told bro. the world that shit. He's a character. He tell people this every day. Now that he was smart enough to realize, oh, wait a minute, I'm making money off this character hey, too. Hey, you got to keep so, going. He got to continue. Ain't nobody, so look, hold on, ain't nobody so he hit the continue. internet like Charleston White. He got to continue the content that he's giving. Right. But now this is why I stepped in and told him. Right? Yeah. And this is real. Because I wouldn't do it. And if I did it, I'm a hypocrite. I said, but the whole thing is this, my nigga. We can't keep screaming good, but then turn around, I'm going to kill you. You can't holler, I'm going to kill you and say the kids and the babies all in one sentence. That don't coincide. That's why I agree with him a thousand percent when the king said his aspect, bro. But well, one thing about it, ra rappers do it all the time. Rapper, rappers rapper, do it all rap the them. time. Rappers do it all the time. They, they depoison the eyes to the community. Right? Nah. If you ain't and speaking we listen the to them, though, bro. I, rapping yeah. is is telling you off the rip. This is entertainment, man. Rappers sending their kids to college. I'm I am not. I'm entertaining you. Mm -hmm. Look, they done pulled the camera out. Look, we got all the guns. This is like a gangster movie inside but of a movie. But they don't even video. know why, though, homie. Cause it's digital, cause they digital robots, man. They digitally controlled, man. I can go so deep. This is we we control, bro. No matter what, how everybody want to sit in and voice their motherfucking opinion, how it is, we are all controlled from the negative and the positive aspect of this shit. How you think these kids are out here doing all this killing? We didn't just wake up one day and say, all right, everybody gonna start rapping, and when you rap, you kill. This I, is bigger I, than I, us. I agree with that to this a certain extent. I, I definitely agree with that to you a certain I mean? extent. Um, the fact that the, globally, for sure, I don't yeah. spoke on that. Spliff will tell you that. Is when you start to put together the 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 situations and circumstances that create gangsters, that create gangsterism. See, that's what I'm trying to say about a person like Charleston White. Mm hmm. And that's my last time saying this. <laughs> well, no, I got something else to say. Well, I'm just saying yeah. that I'm just saying that our voices, people with them, with them megaphones, they don't never point it at the real. The same thing that's happening in Watts, California, is happening in El Salvador and Honduras. It's happening in Jamaica. It's happening in Africa. Why is it when and and I don't you know I know we got to keep we got to be spicy but we got to be splashy. But I'm gonna tell you this right here: when you got Wealth, poorly, and, and you got a political class, then you got a working class, and then you got a poor class. Inside of that poor class is going to always be people that, that join together to become criminals, to get resource. And the goal is it, it is for to get the people that's in this class right here stuff that the government say that they can't get. That's where criminal activity going to come from. By we, us being the less educated and stuff like that, we're going to engage in these behaviors in the best way we know how. Criminal activity is going to always be, it's going to always. So when I see somebody who should be smart, it's not, it's not, it's not by accident or by coincidence that we do the same things in all of these different places all around the world. Mm -hmm. But when but when we doing it, 
I I feel like I would be first of all, you just gotta know to understand. You gotta have the understanding. What the hell I look like sitting up uh talking crazy and talking down on somebody that's in a situation in LA that I'm in in Dallas or I'm in in East Texas or wherever. It's all the same shit. We all cooking the same boot. We inside of the same pot. So we respect. So that's why I kind of feel like when I'm seeing him, anybody, when I'm seeing anybody with that overly derogatory shit towards people that's just street people that, that like what you, what the hell you want me to like, what you want me to do if I'm from uh stop six? Like what? What was and I didn't see anything else, and and what the program that was laid down, I followed in this program in some kind of way inside of this program. I done made myself into a successful rapper, businessman, entrepreneur, but I still got the same shit in me that causes me to uh, act out quickly in violence against somebody that looked like me. But and then I, you know, you the get thing, mad, you the thing talk I look shit about at, me. and I gotta say this, you know. And, and and my wife noted when I when I brought Charleston on the page, I was looking at something totally different. I, I looked at the, the 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 feeding the kids. I looked at the putting the shoes right. on the kids and, and stop six. I looked at the helping the going to city hall for ten years straight. I looked at all of that. I, I got the the information from uh, people out from the city. My wife did the research. And and listen, you can't deny no, 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 the I'm work. Sorry. Just like you said. That's coming. That, you can't deny the work that before the, it even. That was the character that happened. debated the world in. That was the good yeah. guy character. That's, that was yeah. the character that's, debated the world in. But it but happened. Then when the you transformation came, that's where the problem and the friction relies. See, well, my thing is this: you start that way, you should finish that way. But if that, people are evolving. And, 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 people but, are still evolving. People, you evolving still exactly, to, the, to this but, day. But my heart is really in it. See, this is my thing. I I, I wouldn't sit here and go on camera and despise and do certain things that this individuals do or even himself or certain individuals like, all right, me and him, we cool. We we cool. This, we linked up. We cool. So we talking off camera. We chill. But now soon the cameras roll. Like when I just said earlier, when the camera came on, when he said the word cuz, I thought he said cuz. I wasn't doing this shit for camera. He did. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I ain't said no motherfucking shit like that. Respect to all right, my people. Yeah, like, right, I don't know why right, he about this shit. Right, 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 right. So, so, so I'm going to be honest I ain't with said you. No as as a non member of anything, my, no, my, it, my whole deal is to help the children. Bro, it, it, Period. It, 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 he done did listen, it again. Listen, he, got, he got the moment. Nah, listen, listen, man. <laughs> he listen, got the moment. Listen, you got to take, in order, we mean, we all three men. Right. And we sitting here, we exchange the dialogues. Yeah. We all three from different walks of life, but Correct. we pushing the same narrative, bro. We trying to push the same line. Say these fucking babies, man. Say the kids. That's what it Fuck is. Fuck all you old niggas. You niggas That's who been 30 years in the pen. Yeah. How many niggas you kill? I don't give a shit, man. Neither. I don't care neither, man. Let me so ask. Whole, let me ask. Okay, me go ahead, go ahead, fam. So my whole thing is, I was, I was making a point. When the show started, I wasn't trying to <laughs> be clowning, but and I didn't even know my nigga. That was that's that's fam then. That's yeah. we we salute. So you know what I mean? So I definitely oh. didn't mean that in that aspect. It was just me coming from where I come from and just how serious that culture is. So I was just basically I was in my check standpoint where I was gonna just give it to him in a sophisticated way. Hey, look, I mean, I don't do the cuz thing. We can be on this mic and talk all I that. I cannot but, believe this shit is on tape. This, 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 this shit is finna be discussed. They finna be like, yeah, no, well, I, I, I'm gonna no, like, I gotta say this. I ain't heard that whole cappuccino. I, 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 I can be real with you. You know, to me, being from the outside looking in, you know, that's my spot right there where yeah. I come in with it. Uh, it when a LA, uh, a person from LA, my cousins being from LA as well, come to Texas and see somebody saying they some type of gang affiliated, it's not the same. It's not the same. To, I'm being real. I, I feel like they look at it as a different whole scenario because they're not from those hoods that that the people are. My cousins are from mm -hmm. and they've been coming down here ever since I was, and I'm old now. So when you say it's not the same, what do you mean? Meaning they didn't give them the same respect. I'm telling cool. you, my cousins when they right. came from L.A. Right. to down here, and we would go to Shreveport. 
Because this was they, a long time ago. Because now. they looked at it as generic. They 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 mimicking their lady they mimicking exactly. us. Exactly. I'm telling oh, you. Yeah. And so, 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 so when I when I seen you say that, that time, to, to LD, I like that. I'm like, oh, here we go. So no, it was, it's, that's that, a, that, okay. That, that, I'm just being real. First, first that's of all, the way I looked at it. Going bad. First, 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 it ain't going bad, LD. <laughs> first of all, I don't have no knowledge of where this brother's yeah. from. What hood? What block? I'm from 300 block from Davis Street. Okay. See, I didn't know that. So that couldn't have been the case at all. I mean, it was just something that I thought, oh, here go one of these country niggas again finna See? say the word to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm hey, telling man, you. What you niggas want me to do, man? I'm going to tell you the truth. I know. I'm going to speak uncut, man. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm all that telling you. Shit. I can't I say the code what I wasn't going to say. I exactly felt that I, way. I wasn't going to say it from anger like, oh, yeah. man. I'm finna tear this motherfucker up. This no, no, no. I knew where cool. he was coming from. I was letting him know in a polite way. You knew where he was coming from. I knew it. I oh, knew yeah. he would know when he said it. Not that you said anything, but I knew where he was coming from because I'm thinking, oh, uh, yeah, they feel like we just down here really just doing anything with the, with okay, the whole fam, culture. On, no, on, man. On, on I got, that, let me on, tell you on, something. On that note I right got there. cousins slash relatives right. from Texas, Kansas City, Different walks of life, and they say the word. I don't let them say it to me, man. You shouldn't. I got it. Where, me? Where you because should. of where I fucking come from, what I have designed in my life in the past, the yeah. seeds I have planted. I'm a real one, man. Yeah. I'm a real fucking blood, man. Yeah. And wow. I don't let real Crips cuz me. Can't, the, the biggest, baddest Crip nigga can be on here right now with me and him change dollar. And that nigga ain't cousin me. Or we will tear this motherfucker up. Hey, and that's what yeah. we supposed to do. But yeah. fam, you, you got the saying? wrong guy. That's the wrong energy hey, for man, Andy. About that, yeah. It was just, I feel you know. I you understand. Feel me? It was but just, let me I was ask you. Gonna let me ask you. It's sophisticated. Yeah, I, 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 matter, yeah. Cause cause I'm on boss God, talk. Damn. One on and one. It's a family thing. One, one on one. Boss so talk. One on one. Right. Yeah. And then I just met my brother. So it's like I ain't gonna go hard in the paint okay. on this boy. He don't know better if he don't Blood. know. <laughs> let me let me take let me grab this motherfucking mic right quick though because I can't. I didn't get three hundred. You in the building. You know what I'm saying? All right. I got two. This is good stuff. But let me let me tell you. Yeah, because he he. I'm talking about this about it's four five clips of just that. I thought he said and this shit finna be all up. Let the record, let the let the camera zoom in. Listen, Anybody TV, in here that got that I got that. Yeah, part. make the, make sure TV that land. It's, listen, TV <laughs> Land. Al did this not big, say no that. They did not say no shit and like this that. The homie Al man, I just meet him and he's good people from this point yeah. on. Straight up, whoop whoop. Yeah. The homie, uh, listen, I came on <laughs> and I thought I heard something. I missed school. Yeah. That was my ears. Yeah. And it wasn't going to be nothing negative. I'm yeah. just going to let him know in a smooth manner. Hey, um, we no. we not going to do that on Boston no. 101. We don't have to Say, do that. Yeah, yeah, man. That ain't got to be you done. Me? But I want to ask you that while we on that. Okay, you from Nick. All right. What's your opinion or what? How? what's your view? What's your perspective on gang representation, in particular, uh, bounty hunter representation in Texas. Yeah, hold up, hold up. I ain't through. Gang, gang representation. Not only the negative aspects, because it's not all just negative. What's your take on how things? And let me. I'm gonna give you this little backstory. So he called me and tell me, I think because of our mutual. Understanding about our mutual understanding about whatever it is we represent. Cool. He wanted me to come in, right? So let me tell you just a little bit of how this shit work. I so he say, Al, I want you to come in, sit in with me. Woo, talk to Nino Cappuccino, da da da. BJ the Bonnie Hunter. So I look up and I start going through my thing to see. Oh, and I see you here fuck with Spliff. Spliff, you know we done we done been communicating before. I so what has to happen is I call. My homies from Stop Six, you know, I live in Aust I'm in Austin, mm -hmm. so I call my homies from Stop Six. Well, my ace partner, Lil D, um, Suwu, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's his name, like they calling this. So I, I call him and let him know, hey, I'm gonna do this here on Saturday with Nino. Woo. Oh yeah, he in he finna be in the who. This is the way the politics go behind the scenes. Right, exactly. Let me know that, yeah, he tapped in and he and he finna be in the hood, yeah, he right? he did all your due diligence. Right, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. to do. Right, so when he's saying that, I'm like, all right, so bam. So we get to right here, okay, and then I looked, I followed you, I went into your, what's the name? I see, okay, he on Truman right now. He with Evil and the rest of the guys, okay. Okay, that's a pipeline, is what I'm saying. And that's, that's so what I'm saying to you is, what do you think? About how it go I don't know how much you done I don't know what you done You know I, You with the fan I gotta say this on camera Forward 
Fort Worth is the elite of game banging in Texas. That's, I know that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah. So everything really can't that umbrella right there and the way they put it down and we already know blood is a defensive position so when you when you see that our brothers up there that have stood that test of time throughout this time they like you know infallible to people like me you know what i'm saying so when they say something or whatever you know i'm I, you know whatever Okay, so what do you think? What's your perspective? Now, I'm only on one side of the line. Y'all already done accused me of some bullshit. <laughs> so I can't speak on the other. I, I can't speak on the other side, but I want to say this. Okay, this what do you think about how this shit go down here? All right, check this out. This is straighten me out right here with us, dear, baby. Yeah. This is straight us out. First and foremost, <laughs> shout out to Truman Street, Stop Motherfucker 6, Big E, Hitman acting, Benny Boy, man, what's up with it, Benny? What's up, man, to them hitters out there, man? Big Trent, man, all the rest of the guys, man. I, hey, listen, man. I as have, well as the whole east side, Eastwood. The whole Eastwood. Everybody. Every, listen, yeah. man, we've we been through that some guy, man. I, listen, I've been through the root of it, man, and yeah. I've seen it, i felt it, i smelt it. And my reason, personally, for touching down, and I said I made it my business, I reached out to these cats. Nobody called me, no matter. I reached out to certain dudes, me and my team, and I told them, hey, man, I, I need to connect with these brothers. And my reason being is, it wasn't to glorify them as being bloods, but me connected from where I'm connected from and us understanding the fact that, all right, when Texas got a hold to this, this gang culture, mm -hmm. Texas really took our shit, and they took our shit in mannerism, what they understood, and they took, and they built on protocol based on what they've seen from the West. So we respected it, feel me? In the very beginning, before the, when the drug center was what I was talking about, when I talked about country niggas and I said how they say certain words. <laughs> we just looked at them, they were like, like, just like you were saying, your cousins come down, generic. But once dudes from LA who were official start crossing those barriers, cause I was one of them, and we start coming in the early 80s and we was bringing the D-boy game slash the banging game with us, this is how the seeds were planted. Mm -hmm. But you you guys, I, I'm from East Texas, so yeah. I didn't see it from the Dallas perspective like that. I was in East Texas. I'm 20, 30 that's, miles that's, from, that's I'm from Shreveport. No, that's I'm, I'm by Shreveport. I'm, let, let me finish. Here, like you said. No, no, no. In Shreveport is where I seen a lot of L.A. people migrating in the 80s, it man. happened everywhere. Is what no, I'm, no, I'm saying I really seen that culture in Shreveport, sure. bro. I'm not, I'm, I mean, being from Smithland, mm -hmm. when I would go to shop, nigga, we couldn't shop in my town, nigga. We had to go, <laughs> we, had, we had to go to Streetport because mm -hmm. it was in the country. And it was uh, certain areas like from the Cooper Road to the, the bottoms, all that. These people, uh, pretty much a lot of people from LA was flying in and and staying there with the gang coach. Right, so, so, like so, being so, real. So as I'm saying it, meaning that the same thing, people start descending, right, and coming here. Yeah. And, and, but they were official dudes from these gangs and yeah. from these cliques. They wasn't no busters or clusters. Mm -mm. They was official. So by them being official and they come down here and they start tagging stuff, it made that official back home to us because of who the people who were involved with it. So my whole thing again, I'm proud of Truman Street. I want to say me being a real double OG Damu, I'm proud of my soldiers and my warriors over there for how they withstand they sections and made that shit monumental. Because that's how we were as bounty hunters, feel me? So I had to, as coming from the land, I want to touch this soil and see it myself. I want to see for it myself. So my whole thing was, okay, these brothers really did something. So now my journey is this. It's a pipeline has, which has stressed out globally. But my thing is, I don't want to see the negativity of the shit then. How we turn this shit around to something positive, I like to some that. good then. That's the whole game. How can game we make some money Sound off like this? Sound like you, you over how, here now. How we make some money <laughs> off this red and blue then? Because you niggas ain't thinking. You over here now. You, you know like, what so I'm saying? So, so I, I got to give it to y'all. So then let me tell y'all that, man. We all are looking stupid. And I just only implicate myself as we because it ain't me. I, I get my money. I eat. I'm really doing what I'm supposed to do. I speak on, I live it. So I'm not here where my heart is halfway in it, but then my heart is over here. I don't hang on the block no more. Nigga, I don't play. I don't go kick it with the homies and hang. They're not on my element, on my level. And that takes nothing from my homies. I was once them. 
I'm on a different fucking walk of life. So in order for me to do this, my heart really got to be in it. So I can't be no hypocrite screaming, oh, I'm going to save the kids, but then, fuck you, nigga, I'm going to kill. See, that's why I say when the, the other cat, that characteristic, yeah. you, you got to either bury that or make your mind up. You can't do one or the other. It's got to be one or the other. We can't salvage the world and save the world, but we got these characteristics. That's like me being BJ. Yeah. So it's like, at times, he, he come out, he surfaces, and I got to, you know, I got to no, step on him. Real, like, real, Nino real Cappuccino talk. got to holler because Nino Cappuccino is the CEO, the entrepreneur, the father, the devoted father, the man who changes life by choice, not by force. There no niggas run me out in those streets ever in life. I was able, God gave me the blessings to be able to say, okay, it's your time. I brought you back. You know what I mean? I'd have been hit, nigga, AK assault rifle, my hip, my side, my leg. I'd been hit with a four-four on my head, my face, stabbed up in the penitentiaries. I, I really done this fucking life. So the internet ain't gonna make me. Yeah. It ain't gonna make me no matter what I say. This shit ain't gonna make me. The fucking people that know me, the world that know me know that's really who he is. That's one of them real ones. You know what I mean? So I don't, this this shit don't, ain't going to make me in a position where, I, oh, I'm going to make money off of this shit. I don't give a fuck. If I could come over here and really literally save some lives, bro, with cats like my my king right here and yourself and ECO. other brothers who's really into this yeah. shit, then, bro, I'm all for that. Nah, yeah. man, we thank you, know you for coming on. So let I'm me, all for let that. Me, let me back it up a little bit and go forward. You know, let me let me control the tempo a little bit, man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Oh, well, I man, listen, hey, listen, man, you're a dope dude. Hey, so you, I like your energy went way you know, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, hey, he's, hey, he's, hey, he, he, he's, uh, he's a vet. So when he here, nah, he, it's, he's nah, such a vet, he done created the moment nah, already. I'm, say, in the, I'm in the days. You know nah, what I'm saying? Hey, because now, I love the fact that you guys... Uh, you guys are sitting here and talking, and y'all ain't ran off yet, for one. Oh, you know nah. what I'm saying? I ain't going Wait nowhere. We're going to get the energy out. rolls up. The energy rolls up. I'm going to get the energy rolls up. You know, niggas are still here in front of Paul. Nigga, this summer warrior, man. man. I ain't going to get that woman out, man. I just want to make sure that. Even if it's to take. I'm going to use him as an example then. I misunderstood and misunderstood. We backed out. No, no. No, no. I had a misunderstanding. <laughs> and him as a man, again, we don't know one that we just met yeah. formally. We yeah. just met, but we're going to know each other from this moment on. <laughs> yeah. For sure. We're going to know each other. Great. Yeah. But he, he had a moment. So as a man, it's cool. He had to let me know. No, nah, hey, big homie. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah. As yeah. he was supposed to in yeah. defense. Yeah. So I didn't take that and run with or feel defensive. So what any given moment, why are we going to walk out? As That's, to me, man, that's Holy weedy shit. shit. That's Girl weedy shit. shit. Whole girl bro, shit. I just, like I said, Real men, bro, withstand and you talk. If you wrong, listen, motherfucker, this is the, this the problem with this internet. Motherfuckers being wrong, even the, the top niggas who own the internet, yeah. who got the voices, you be wrong as fuck. Well, not admit it to society, bro. Be a man. Yeah. Stop lying in the mirror because you. it's easy to lie to the nigga in the mirror because that's you. But the reflection still withstand. It's still a reflection. You bringing that reflection to the public. You lying. I saw something dope that you, uh, a couple of years ago, when he did, I did my research. I seen that you was you was moving, putting some, uh, putting plays together, film plays together. You was with Bun. Uh, Y'all was on Sway in the Morning. I seen I saw that it. too. What, what, what was your, what, what was the deal with, I don't know all of the, the intricate details, but oh, that's what little, was you putting together at that point? That's my little brother. That's a little, little bro, man, slash business partner. Me and Bun been business partners for 13 years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We just did our last um, project two years ago, our last independent project together. Dope. And basically, what, what, what's going on now is we have broken off into different entities for us, Team Double Dose, Big Truck Buck. Shout out to my team, Team Double Dose, Bonafide Management, Bun B, and big truck buck, truck. Uh, Glad he had a truck. truck yeah, truck, truck Glad he had entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's all. My, I just got off the phone with him. Yeah. So that, that's all my Tell family. And, so yeah, so. my connection with them. I've been we've been connected for almost well, actually fourteen and a half, almost fifteen years now. Yeah. But me and Bun did actual business for thirteen straight years where we built this label together called Two Trill AT and Two Trill West. So I run Two Trill West Records, and he has Two Trill Entertainment, which is Two Trill Enterprise. And Bun was a part of Cappuccino Films. Uh, my first indie release film, uh, King of Watts, that I produced, I wrote, and I starred in it. And what I did was I used authentic cast up out the hood. And I just, I gave them a 48 hour, hour acting class where I just brought them in, I sit them down, I just said, man, I want y'all to be yourself. Mm -hmm. When I give y'all this dialogue, just read the shit, man, just follow my lead. If you miss some of the words, don't worry about throwing improv, certain shit, I'm gonna insert, I keep, I take it out. I just follow what I tell you to do. And so, 
I went to my neighborhood, I cast, and I cast cast from swans. As you if you see in my film, I'm playing a crip role. I'm a major crip. Chino <laughs> oh, XL wow. is a, yeah, see? I'm uh, a crip. <laughs> I see it crazy. Crazy. on film. Ain't that crazy? That's some crazy That's shit. That's critical, right? Yeah. yeah. It's film, man. It's film, just man. Doing your acting, but yeah, baby. so so yeah, so I, I play a crip role from Riverside. And what I'm showing is exactly what we're talking about when you said about the Texas thing for us gangs. Back in the days, we considered Riverside as generic niggas. You niggas ain't L.A. gang, baby. You niggas is generic. They ain't with the business. So I was playing, me and my crew, we was Crips, and we was, I was showing the significance of how the rules go in these streets. Being in the wrong place at the fucking wrong time, behind some ass. Excuse my French yeah, no, queen, no, 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 but behind some it. ass. We going over in the Nickerson Garden to toss up these three females, but we think we going to the Hawaiian Gardens. Either way, it would have been destruction to us because Hawaiian guards is a Mexican clique. It's a Mexican gang. We ain't got no business being over there neither. Mm -hmm. But we in the Nixon garden coming out of Riverside. So that's the whole format of the film. Wow. It shows that that. And what's the name of, of the film? King of Watts. King of Watts. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's being released on my channel right now for a bonus to a lot of my supporters, man, to uh, on, on Christmas Eve. Here I come with the spice. Man, no. I got the spice ready. Go, I'm going to let you. I'm gonna let yeah, you here it go. go. Here it go. Here go. I got it got. ready. Let me see what you got here. So... You got to understand that bounty hunters is a real big thing in Houston, Texas. Right. Yeah, five nines. What's your thoughts on that? Um, <clears throat> first probably of, the biggest. They yeah, probably they, the biggest they are, hunter. They are. Um, I'm, 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 I'm pipeline connected, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, just be honest about it. I'm I'm pipeline connected to, to H-Town. Yeah. And to that whole aspect of things. I'm very yeah. familiar with what's going on. And again, man, it's just like Truman. It's just like Truman Street, the history of Truman. The reason being of being fire nine is because they kept that aspect of what that was for us, Texas. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And um, it is what it is. Do you find it? Do you, come on, let's let's uh -uh, let's uh, -uh I ain't gonna. Uh -uh. <laughs> so it so if they saying fire nine and they not saying fire line, right? What is the, the, it, how you take that? It, do you do it, you it, feel it, like somebody got it wrong? It coincided. Do you feel like that, it, it was done? It was done and said it, wrong. Yeah, and, yeah. And now it's gonna come like a thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know none it of this stuff. It coincides with it though. That's why it's the five nine. I don't know what I got myself into. But here, here's the thing though, it, and it's the, all good. Not so much it is. <laughs> it's, it's 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 not so much. It's I would say it's all good in this element as far as this generation. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if I were still active and I was involved, mm. it'd be a change of venue of it. All the way down. So they come in. No, 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 no. So if they, so. if they go, if, the if, title, if, the title of it, the whole aspect of the title of it, like the representation of it, it would be a change of venue because I'm going to give them the real, thorough energy and education of it. And they're going out there. They, they being welcome. Yeah, so that's why the dynamics of it have to be correct. So I would correct it. Mm. I wouldn't let it fly. I would correct it. But being the fact it ain't my job. There you go. To correct it, so that's why I I'm allowing it. Me and a lot of others, such as myself, because it ain't our job. Our position yeah, to correct let me it. Ask it's the young niggas in that era, in that element. If they the little homies don't get it, then it's on them. We it's cool because we this ain't my life no more, homie. Yeah. Oh, that's what I want to get to. Pipeline. The pipeline. But you said you did pipeline be, a while ago. What what does that mean? All right, pipeline meaning this uh -oh. advice. Yeah. Advisory. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm I'm listening. I ain't I'm advice, on the street. Commentary. No. Commentary. You want some Godfather yeah. advice? Shit. Look, man. This, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm it is. I'm gonna be honest with you. From the outside looking in. I'm not talking about. Pipeline from a negative yeah, perspective. I'm Let me clear there that you up. There you go, because I'm, I'm over right here now. looking like I'm not talking oh, about, he active as hell. No, no, no. You, you, know. you, you would not have me indicted on this son of a bitch. Mr. Black, none of that shit. So, you would have me indicted on this son of a bitch. None of that. So let me rephrase that. There you that. go. Let's talk I mean about it. in a positive manner. Like, okay. man, like, hey, big homie. Hey, God, Foster, what you think, man? We could feed the kids. Yeah. Yeah. My whole thing is look, young niggas, y'all doing y'all thing. Okay, homie. But look, a lot of this sister shit. I don't even condone with Pierre. I don't care where it is going on in the yeah. world. I just, I just, when it comes to the babies, man, the kids, homie, it's, I have a thing for I have kids. I can raise them on my own. So I feel for that, bro. And I ain't never in my life, none of my homies I know of, we didn't ride like that. So I don't care if it's a new era and it's a change of venue. It still should be rules in pocket. It's got to be, you I know, got a question for you. Structure, bro. I got to no get my structure. questions in too, It's not no structure. That's, that's, that's why his question is the way it is. I got to get my question Because in. he understands okay. the real dynamics now, of where this shit come from I ask and the question. roots of it. So because that's why he's asking them kind of questions. There's a lot of senseless killing that goes on in gang violence. Now, I talked to uh, 
another person who uh, he's not on the side y'all on. You need y'all something different, you know. Mm-hmm. But anyway, he t- he gave me a good explanation. He said that back in the days the killings was different because y'all didn't use the same type of weapons that they use today. No, I you just, see what I'm saying? It's a totally different. When I, I asked I, him that, it blew my mind. I'm like, dang. He's like, yeah, we yeah, use revolvers and no, nah, no, nah, that's that's I, that ain't no excuse. That's bullshit. It, it's yes and no. So okay. let me help you out. Give it to me. The first generation, bro. It wasn't multiple, massive, volatile killing. None of that shit. It happened here and there. The big homies was fighters, squabblers, black men. Because we were just coming out of that pro, that, 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 that Black that, Panther, the Black Panther yeah. Coalition, where it flipped over to our communities. That's where the CRIP come from, man. Crips Revolution in Progress. Yeah. Power Rules is the same thing. Feel what I'm saying? So that's where we get it from from the beginning, as far as that unification is blacks. So when it when they rolled over to the gangs, a lot of our big homies had became fathers already. These dudes was 30, 40 years old already. Niggas that did time in the penitentiary for murders and shit, for robbery murders and stuff like that, not gang murders. So now when it got to us, come 78, 79, and 80s or the early generation of the 80s, the guns came in play for us, the automatic weapons. The mm-hmm. first guns we got a hold to hit us was them goddamn Uzis. Them the 45s, the ones you fire, they get hot. Yeah. Motherfuckers get hot in your hand. You, we had you them got, down you here. Know, they blow up in your damn yeah, hand, man. man. You know what I'm saying? So a train, and this is in my movie, The Truth, right? This kind of just giving you a clip into this history. A train got derailed on both sides of the tracks. True story. And I hood, and over toward the, between the Jordan Downs, High Santa Village, and the Pure Courses crossed over on the other side. Then you have Mona Park, you know what I'm saying? I mean, 118, 10 eights. Uh, then we got the Bell Havens, then we got the Block Boys. You know, all this is structured in the same perimeters. And you put two fucking derailed trains in there with automatic guns and weapons. By design. By, By design. design. Yeah. Not no, or it was an accident. Because if it was an accident, y'all would have had the helicopter SWAT. Yeah, yeah. Everybody I mean, surrounding this bitch. Didn't have any weapons and don't. Niggas would have came flying out to Scott to make yeah. no, no guns get. Shout out my out homie here. Penny from Great. I know he's going to be watching it. He gonna, hey, Penny, what's up? 108, I know you, I got to get you in there. Now you in yeah. there. Hey, I got to <laughs> ask you about some of the stuff that I seen. I think it was on Spliff's page. You you're on there a lot. That guy. Uh, anyway. Yeah, that guy, man. <laughs> Spliff, <laughs> that's, that's that guy, I, I want to know about, uh, uh, it was a thing I read uh, or heard that you had uh, something with, took half a million dollars from Suge Knight or something. What was that? What was that? I want to hear about that. That's what's on the internet. I'm looking at what I'm looking at. Hey, see, I need an answer for this. Hey, see, this is what I'm saying. This is why I say they internet. don't let Body Hunter BJ relax. Bro, I, that's the stuff that popped. The, the, the stuff that I'm looking at. I watched at. it, bro. I pushed, I pushed the button, right? And I say, put in the information for, uh, I didn't know your name was Nino <laughs> Cappuccino. I said, BJ the Bounty Hunter. Baby, let's get this information. He come into town. And I split pop up, boom, horns or something. I said, damn. I said, damn. There it is. Okay, I, all right, I got to ask him about this. So he did what with the world-class wrecking crew? Damn. You know, this nigga busy. Yeah, that's what I'm I, nigga, I didn't even know hey, the nigga was even. That's, that's I was nigga mad because, listen, nigga jumped on me. Supreme had called me. I say, no, nah, I don't know if I want that cat. He don't know nobody. <laughs> But then when I look, I say, oh, hell, I got me something here. You know what I'm <laughs> so was that a real thing? I didn't look at it because I wanted to get it from you. All right, man. Let me lace you. Let's break it down. Let me lace you. Check this out, man. Again, because I tell this, I tell, and it's not a story. It's my livelihood. Like yeah. I tell it, what separates me from Casimus in that these are my real true livelihoods, what I went through, what I live, man. You feel me? I met Simon, who ended up becoming a good dear friend slash business partner of mine for 20 some years now, right? Okay. I met him on a negative level. Simon. A.K. Suge Knight. Marion. That's the world knows Suge. Suge yeah. Merriam Knight is A.K. Yeah. Simon. Simon Says. Yeah. That's where he got his death row nickname from. Simon Says. When Simon Says, go. He tell them niggas go, they going. You feel me? Well, I wasn't one of them go niggas. You feel me? I'm a nigga that make niggas go. Free the homie. So, yeah, free the homie Simon, man. So, check this out. The way I met him was, I was summoned to a meeting from other generals, feel me? Big homies, Terry Carter, rest in peace, feel me? Uncle Mike, you know what I mean? I was summoned to a round Terry table. Moses? No, Terry Carter. Carter. Terry Moses is my big homie, though. That's your big homie, yeah. from Bonnie Hunter. Yeah. They wrote the book. Yeah, I'm yeah. in the book, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> I, um, I was summoned to this meeting, 
me and Rat Dog, Willie Dog, AK Rat Dog, rest in peace. You know what I mean? My 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 partner in crime, my road dog, everything. We summoned to this meeting. So me having a broad mind again, like I do, and that's why they brought me to the meeting. Cause they know this A1 here torpedo. Two, he 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 on point and he's smart about it. So if we send him and he go, he gonna go right. He ain't gonna go with the bullshit, he gonna make everything work. This is why I was bought in. Big homies bought me in, laced me. Yeah, you know this nigga Simon Shulman. Yeah, I heard a nigga, man. I heard a fat boy, man. He we football player slash did a few bounces for Bobby Brown. I mean, what about the nigga? Well, look, man, we don't show you niggas how to build your own production company and I'll I, I get you niggas out the street. Legitimate. Now, at this time, I'm already going through a stage with my life where what can I do to take this this damn dirty money, man, and really get myself up out this situation? Because I'm, I'm sitting on a Lisa Mill ticket, man, up out the streets, dirty. And I just put the peace treaty together in 1992 with other cats collectively out to Jordan Downs, Pure Course High Santa Village. So I'm one of the advocates to represent the Damusha from this peace treaty. So I'm now I'm torn between, like I said, a part of me still BJ in the streets, and then I'm developing this Nino Cappuccino characteristics. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but Nino is overpowering BJ. So I'm battling these alter egos, bro. Cause soon my phone rang, I'm out in the street, I'm 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 in it. I'm, and then I'm in a motherfucking meeting, man, two days later. You know what I'm saying? So I had to really tell myself, wait You nah. can really see how the foundation of that kind of behavior le leads up to people like the Nipsies of the world and people like exactly, that. Exactly, bro. You can just see how and, that. And, he, and, and, and it's, it's crazy you spoke on that. We'd go back on it and reiterate mm -hmm. on it. He was in his stage where he was building that to where it would have pulled him away from eventually collectively because he didn't have to be there. I, he built that already. He ain't had no business there, and he didn't have to be there. But it was the foundation of the family of it, the community. He doing the same you know thing I'm doing here, right? The exact same. Right. Because that's right. why I went to his store. But yeah, you gotta remember of, though, because jealousy, of envy, all these things play a part, bro. Niggas. Yeah, they I don't got it. You don't, yeah. don't got it because you don't get your ass to go get it. it. Ain't my fault. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so again, taking us back, my introduction to him was I come to this meeting. And, you know, find out, okay, this is what it's going to be. So now I go to work. A big brawl jumps out with the West Side Public. And, and my thing was what I really, what really, really got me involved and got me on him was when he brought about the separation with the power rules. Because I'm, a, like I said, I'm a real Damu, bro. I'm a real blood from Nixon Garden. And I love my homies from Six Deuce Browns, the Pyro, Swans. I got homies from all over, bro. I, I, I was one of them niggas out of my projects, was able to bring niggas from these other hoods and bridge them gaps and bring them to our hood because niggas wouldn't come to our hood and fuck with us, man. We A number one in Los Angeles when it comes to the blood situation, bro. Not trying to boast or brag on but giving facts. And can't no nigga battle that. That's what it was. Pyro's was the original, the originated B Dogs before us. But when we. Put this shit down. That was the element that we built out them projects, man. Nothing but fear. And that was for every motherfucking body. Period. You know what I'm saying? So that character, bringing that character involved to this situation is what brought me about to smash on it. So me smashing on him and taking a half a million, we end up getting a, a record deal. You know what I mean? A production deal. How'd you take the half a million? How'd you articulate that? You pretty sure. Well, I mean, it's, it's simple. Chess. <laughs> I'm trying to get in there. This, this, this media game, I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> we play chess. I'm learning. I'm trying to get in there. Articulate that. Say yeah. word for word how you done took this bread yeah, from I this. Yeah, I want to know. Okay. It's well, gone a long time. Look, that know. nigga was in there on the movie. I mean, on uh, hey, man, come to Death Row. I'm there. I'm like, well, how you going to get that money out of him? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, that's the thing about it. Y'all seen that. Remember, y'all got it. Remember my analogy. I'm taking y'all back to the fucking coin, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm that nigga on the other side of the coin, homie. Yeah, yeah. you seen Suge, but you didn't see Bonnie on the BJ. Yeah, you didn't yeah, know yeah. nothing about Bonnie on the yeah. rap dog. You know, mm -hmm. all the rest. Yeah, you seen Suge. But I you know, know about exists. them Bonnie hunters who was smashed on his ass. Not just Bonnie on the BJ, he got hit two times by the Bonnie hunters. How about that? See, y'all yeah. didn't see that because it wasn't publicized. That's but right. That's right. The, we he, didn't also, give a fuck he also, about he also, he also did some aspect. unthinkable great shit. By building a great company, you oh, gonna wait, go wait, through some wait, shit. Wait, 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 wait! You, you yeah. asked, you asked me I the know. negative. Yeah. I, I, see, one thing about me when I talk, that's my, that's my ninja, that's my homeboy. Right. You feel me? I ain't against the grain with the nigga. Yeah, we no want him. What, we want him free out he, here. He we did, want him out. Look, he did wrong shit, bro. Yeah. 
He's no different than any other human being, man. Yes, for sure. Feel me? He did wrong shit, but nigga, I know for a fact the greatness he did because I was with him. I was around him. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, that's why I always give him his props. I don't. I don't get on here and brag and boast about this shit. I'm y'all ask me the question. People want to get you know. Story. They, but, but you gotta right? understand. So, so half a million, out. half a million wasn't a lot of money really to him during this time. No, half a million, no, a lot of money. No, no, no. Who no, no. lose it? No, you don't want to lose. But this guy was dealing with a lot of money during this time. Am I right? It's not about the. See, here's the whole thing. It ain't about for me and for us. It's not about the half a million. Correct. It's who you took the half a million from. Oh. I get it. I don't give a fuck about to have me. Nigga. I've been getting money. Feel me? I bust real niggas upside their head and take their money. Mm -hmm. So it ain't about the half a million. It's about who got the half a million. Oh, this the nigga that took 20 million from these niggas over here. Let's go get in that nigga pocket. Yeah. It was the challenge for us. That was you what I said. The thrill of the take. From. Yeah. The thrill of the take. And you nigga. took it. Took it. We did now now we're going to throw another one in there because that one's a good one. Lil yeah. Wayne and them. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell you what I I'm, I'm gonna, I got your too. I got your I got your bond I got your bond money ready. <laughs> this this is what I seen people say. I'm and tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm you, on the outside you, looking in. Yeah, you done told the story. Now you really kind of in. This ain't too bad. <laughs> I this ain't nothing wrong. You told you told the story of how you stood up for uh for them. They was on the on the grape side of it. Right. Right. I. This the internet, so it boy say, man, I know you seasoned brother, you thinking back to a year. Hey, man, maybe you right on the year, maybe you wrong on okay, the year. I'm gonna stop you right there, man. Go ahead. I'm gonna fuck stop you in your tracks right there, then, man. Fuck all that shit, because well, I don't do the was shit. Was your year right? No. Your year and was I wrong. And I went back on and made another video and re innovated it. Same. Listen, homie, listen, TV Land. First, what I'm not gonna do. We gonna believe. I, yeah. I ain't, ain't, ain't none of you niggas gonna ever put me in no spot on this internet and say, well, Big Cap, you was a lie. You, you don't give me no live vibes. Yeah, I'm, um, I ain't no motherfucker. You don't liar, give me live vibes. Honey. Now, I, I speak fast because I'm adamant and I'm really truthful passionate. and yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about this shit. Yeah. So, yeah, I speak fast, bro. So, what I did when I was telling the Lil Wayne story, I fucked my year up. Yeah, yeah. it's cool. For me, I said 92, and this was during the time when I did the peace treaty, and we were still in peace. But it's like 97, 96, when this nigga was like 15, 16 yeah. years old. Not then, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Yeah. So when I realized Well, oh, you know the internet shit. Right. As soon as you say something, like, but, but, ah, it's over with. But this is how sharp know. I am about it. Yeah. I seen that. When I went back on, I seen comments, and then my phone rung. I said, oh, God damn, I, that was right, man. Oh, I said 92 because I know that was my year. I was doing all my good shit when yeah. the Peace Street started. So, I, bro, here's the bottom line to ask the Lil Wayne question, homie. My first encounter with Lil Wayne and them, bro, because I had two when, encounters. What, what year was it? 96? 96, 97, yeah, bro. Yeah, cool. The same year that um, Drop It Like It Hot came out and they was okay. promoting that album. They was going around in their vans and touring and shit. They was really going hard. Drop It Like It's Hot. Oh, uh, what's the name of that day? With Whatever Juvenile, it is. Juvenile, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, back, the back BG, they was the group, yeah, yeah, BG, yeah, yeah. Lil hot Wayne, boys. yeah, the Hot Boys. Yeah, yeah talking so, about all yeah. the money and so all the cars. So yeah. they was, at the, when they came in the game, they was fucking with the Jordan Downs. Lil Petey Roll and them, my nigga. Yeah. They got induced, introduced to watch through Petey Roll, bro. Petey Roll was Ripping the, the set now? Let me finish. Okay, my bad. They was, listen. Anxious for this one. Yeah, it wasn't so much as <laughs> them repping it, repping it, because they wasn't involved just yet, mm. but they was wearing the colors. They was wearing purple, my niggas. Showing love. Well, you call it showing love. Having love. Listen, you can call it showing love all the fuck you want, however you want to sugarcoat it. For the gray streaks, nigga, they was reeling them niggas in. Yeah. And if, if they would have stayed, they would have been fucking gray streaks. Mm. And stay it when Matt got a hold to them. That's when they got introduced to the Damu aspect, which they was already seeing both sides of it. Shout out to homie Mac that yeah. I just got off the phone with, not yeah, even. Yeah, that's my ninja. Yeah. Feel me? So yeah. when Mac went down there, Mac was what really Mac introduced them and gave them the flavor, man. You feel me? And that's what, so my whole thing was this. When I seen Lil Wayne, BG, and Lil Turk, they was in the record store with the, a Mexican bodyguard, there's two bodyguards. My whole thing was I was already in the Jordan Downs. Bro. I was already, I just got through gambling with the niggas and I was smoking weed and I just got some weed. So I'm in the parking lot and I'm ear hustling. I heard the baby Lokes talking about the niggas in the record store doing a signing. That's how I got wind of it. I lining them up. Yeah, they, they made it lining their ass up. Yeah. Finna go get them. Fuck Peter Roy and them because this is another squad out of, out of the projects. Don't care. These, these the hungry wolves. Yeah. 
So the world's about to go get him. Yeah. I said, who the hot boy? Now, my thing was, I had just started Paper Chase Entertainment, mm -hmm. my independent label. So I I was one of the <laughs> biggest independent companies that was hot in Washington at that time. I was becoming a competition to my little homeboy, OFTB, and them. Mm -hmm. So I had signed cast out of the Jordan Downs, PJs. Each project, I had a coalition of them now. I got Bonnie Hunters, Crips, Bloods, Mona Parts. I got them on my label. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We were under peace at Watts. So I was trying to teach all these young niggas how we bridge this shit and bring it together, get money, we eat. So we was doing our thing. When when they came and surfaced, this, when Peter Rowe and them bought them to the watch and everything, like I said, the youngsters and them planned to go rob them. That particular day, when I was there in Jordan Downs, I heard that immediately I went to that record store, which is on 103rd, right across the street from the elementary store. It's a taco stand right next door to it now. The same very place is a laundry mac right now in a day. You feel what I'm saying? So I went in there and they was in there. And I seen him, I said, I walked right to him, I said, hey man, who the manager? Who the road manager, who the manager? Dude told me, pointed me to the cattle, I walked up to him, I said, hey, man, let me holler at you. I introduced him, told him, I said, I'm buddy on the BJ, man, I'm from the Knicks to Gordon. I said, listen, man, I said, I got a little label called Paper Chase Entertainment. I just started my shit. I said, yeah, I just had to change my name because you niggas, man. We were CMBs, Cash Money Brothers. True story. So hey, What made you pick that name? New Jack City. Okay. Yeah, that's what they got them to. Because I took the New Jack City formula to the projects when I seen the movie, and I was the first nigga that had multiple crack <laughs> yeah, houses in my projects. And they took it to the projects. rap game. So they took it to yeah. the rap game, you yeah. took it to the projects. Took it to the projects, huh? Okay, okay. now I'm, I'm, so, I'm with you. I'm so, riding. I'm in the so, car. Yeah, you can stay with me. Yeah. Stay with me. So, <laughs> so look, now we in the record store, and I'm getting at them, and I tell them, I said, look, man, you need to get your boys and them up out of here, man. Young niggas is plotting to come get y'all, homie. Matter of fact, give me a number, give you contact. Who, who run this shit? Who the head nigga? You know what I mean? So he gave me his number. I call him. The Who's him? Day, um, I'm trying to remember this cat name, man. Don't say it if you don't remember. Yeah, we'll just, yeah we'll, I was we'll, trying to remember we'll his name, but he was their road manager at <laughs> okay. the time. You feel me? <laughs> and so um, once once I talked to him, they left, got on. My little just so happened, Juvie wasn't with them that day, but he was out in L.A. My little homeboy, how meaning them, was fucking with Juvie. This is how they was split up. So... He had a connection with Juvie, just coincidentally, he called me and tell me, big homie, I got the nigga Juvie on them number, man, they wanna holler at you. So this is how I got plugged with Juvie. And me okay. and Juvie became, you know what Tight. I mean? We, yeah, straight up, A1. So that's yeah. how I started fucking with Juvie, after the fact of that. But you know what I mean, look, shoot, they, the, the dude right then on the spot looked out for me, took care of me, you know what I mean? Looked out and they got on, left, jumped in their little van, got on. The, I, I believe, I wanna say the next falling year, not. The next following year or two, you start seeing the transition. They start wearing the colors, you know what I mean? And They, they came home. Yeah, their music was on a whole nother floor, and then by that time, another year after that, Mac was down here, and that's when you start how seeing you feel the red. about How you feel about the, the brother, in particular Wayne, his representation, how, how do you feel how he's done as, as a Piru? This, you know, how you feel his representation I, I, has been. To, to get to that, man, to answer you that, that question, man, I feel like this, man. Until these dudes, him or a baby, touch niggas like myself and other real cats in these streets that's really real, who's doing good things at that. Now, not just throwing a, no hungry ass dog a bone. I mean, real niggas with good intentions. See, we don't got alliance. And to me, that's a problem. Now, you can't scream blood and all that, and you don't got no alliance with me. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, sir, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, I, you, you laughing on me. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. Listen, I don't care because you know that nigga over there. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? I don't <laughs> care. Don't talk to me about, oh, you know, okay. Wack 100. I don't give oh, a okay, fuck, yeah, nigga. Yeah. But Wack 100 don't come up in my era and from what the, the, the power within and what I've done and what we do. I'm talking about many, not just myself, other dudes from other walks of life, whether it's Parus, Bonnie and the Swans, it's collective. It's the collective of us. Mm -hmm. You're not doing nothing for cats like us to help to change the venue, so but you're living off the broad of the name, my nigga. What do you think about wait his minute, representation? So let me get to that. His representation. My personal opinion is his representation as a man, his his talent, but I fucks with him. Do you feel like he's inspiring little homies to do like creative shit? And now, and now he is because. He he has grown in growth like a lot of us have to do. Yeah. Because at once about a time, he spoke, I feel like this, he spoke in a demonic sense, sense certain senses for mm -hmm. his music messages, like a lot of them, and a lot of us have, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's programmed to us. 
But once you get into that control of aspect of knowing who you are, and that's why I feel he's a, he's a man to know who he is. So he's at that level where he's out of growth. See, I'm not I'm not judging looking at the dude on no gang bang shit because again I could care less. I don't care. But and we know be- homies do yeah. do you some too. A homie, yeah. of, right? I'm a, but in, in the beginning, you know what I mean. Like I said, on my start off journey of this shit in the very beginning years ago, I looked at it as the sense of cats like that dog. This is why we supposed to come together. Because it's called homage. You know, you don't owe me shit, but the homage of it. You feel me? Because this is what I really represent and stand. You, you trying to be a part of it, but this is really a culture for us. Niggas was born in this, homie. They die for it, and they going to continue to it. Right now, while we sitting here on Boss Talk, it's shit going on in L.A., Texas, Connecticut, New Orleans, Chicago. It's shit going on, bro. Let me, mm-hmm. let, you feel let me? Let me, let me ask you something, man. You, you, you seem as if you definitely are, are one of those guys, you know, and and that's dope, man. And and to be done, to be still here, yeah. That's to be the, still here, that's 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 a whole lot. To be them went through everything that you done been through. But um, if Wayne did show this this respect and align, you know, align himself up the proper way, what would be the what would what would we be trying to do with with his? Good with, you ask that. You see what I'm saying? Meaning this, bro. We got too many homies out here. That as the media has collectively labeled as celebrities. Yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas ain't celebrities. It's like me. I, I don't want the label as a celebrity, man. I, I'm a I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet of Allah, man. It's me Allah. I'm a prophet of God, man. God changed me. I went back to God because once time I told him, F you, man, I'm gone. I put the devil, the red suit on, I became the devil. So when I took that suit off and gave it back to him, I became what he want me to be, I'm his warrior. So I'm just speaking the word, spiritually, from a spiritual standpoint. This wouldn't be me 25, 20 years ago. You wouldn't dare hear me speak on this level. Yeah. Because everything was terrorized. Correct. Terror, terror Correct. shit. Because, you know, that was just who I was. So my thing is, man, I, I, I believe the transition of change is this. It's not about, again, Lil Wayne don't owe me no money. Correct. Baby don't owe me no money, homie. I'm not mad at them dudes for their money. I'm not, again, when it came out to the street culture was when I voiced my opinion on it. That's why when the homie asked me that question, so I gave my opinion. But from men, I respect both of them dudes as men. I respect them as the men. So, so to answer your question is, there you go. to help change is this, bro. It ain't about money. It's about us coming together by coastal with the power that we have, the voices that we have to maneuver to get to the real motherfucking capital to make them changes. Until we do that shit, bro, it ain't gonna be no change. We can all sit and talk about it all day long. Yeah. Feel me? Until real so dudes come together with their heart. For change, to change, try to help. Change, bro. So help dude, dudes really come together to hear like, all right, look, why is it that loud, all these main production companies can get these big ass venues, but we can't do it on our own? Right. And then we get the revenue, we get the money, and then we do this. Okay, Texas, California, New Orleans, all these states who are involved with this committee, they getting chunks and pieces of this money to them poverty-stricken communities, bro, where these kids is dying at because they don't got YMC programs no more. They don't got tutoring programs so the little babies don't even know how to count because their mama can't count. You can't even be mad at these kids. Her mama can't tutor. The daddy ain't even gone. That nigga's a sperm donor. So he was gone already when he dropped his nut. He gone. So you we you gotta understand the dynamics and the elements of what we going through, bro, as a real culture, if you wanna fix this shit. Or stop, shut your mouth up being hypocrites talking about fix some shit. I ain't gonna do no marching nigga, unless we killing niggas. <laughs> I ain't doing all that marching and all this shit matter. Fuck all that. His life, my life, your life, everybody in here, this black life matter to me, man, at this point. I don't need no motherfucker sign no t-shirt to say that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? No, so that's where I'm at with it. The realism of it until we Bring a committee of individuals like that. We always had his process. That's why I say he could be a real big force in it. Not for his money, but just his resource, his voice, and his following. Like little homie just said about how he got weight on the youngsters. Man, Lil Wayne could change a lot of shit around by voice with the his youngsters. Opinion. It's his opinion. But he still need other cats like himself in that era, in that generation. Can't just be him. Yeah. It got to be a change of venue because that means now, oh shit, they see... These dudes is really leading by example. They doing something different. But as long as we separate it, bro, they gonna know the divide and conquer. So you gonna have half over here choose our side, choose that side. That's that's why it's the way it is. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Uh, you don't push me in the mind of somebody that could have got jumped by the world class wrecking crew. Oh, you gonna that's, be, listen, so man. you gonna hit me back <laughs> with that one? <huh? laughs> 
I don't see how that happened. I seen the pictures, nigga. Uh, EZ put them up, nigga. Yo, yeah, I don't see that happening. Not with the nigga that I met today over here. So, so tell me, is that uh, I, again? I seen that on Spliff. I'm gonna give him another little, old, you know, shameless plug. You know, Spliff D. I see, I see Spliff D. Uh, the, how, did that really happen? Is that a real thing? Yeah, man. I didn't listen to the videos. I wanted to get it from you. <laughs> let, me, let me give it to you right quick. Then check this out. Again, um, I was introduced to uh, Club Eve at the Dark, was one of the biggest clubs in L.A. at the time. They broke hip hop in for us in our era. Shout out to my boy Lonzo Williams, yeah, man. Yeah, I to, seen him in the movie. Shout out to DJ Yellow, DJ Unknown. Yeah, you know what I mean, Dr. Dre, all my niggas, man. Shout out, man. But look. They was running the club at the time. And at this time, you know, Dre and it was so, to me, that again, I'm going to speak in my frame of mind. I ain't talking about today, but my frame of mind. Them niggas was on some fruity tootie shit with this. I knew you were going to say this, that. With this old glitter and, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But the songs was not bad, oh, dude. No, 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 the time. No. We were coming out of disco. I mean, that's for you. <laughs> I'm a gangster. I'm a gang banger. Yeah. But we didn't if know it, it you, hadn't came out yet. Ice tea and some shit that was hitting. But, with all due respect. Yeah, but no, it, it hadn't came out that's yet. Why we, we didn't know. That's why we were on the East Coast at that time. See, now, this time, we on the niggas is harding on the East Coast with the hard rap that yeah. time. You know what I mean? So that's what we were on. Yeah. But my whole point was, when this club was developing um, Eve at the Dark. Okay. Eve at the Dark was was centered smack dead in West Side Paru Hood, Anthus Park, Miller Gangsters, Eugene Village. I'm all homies. I was our allies. Then, um, I'm, but but um, Lonzo didn't actually own the club because the whole corner was owned by this old cat named Jeffies. Okay. So you got the after bar for the, the adults downstairs. You know, you got the after uh, after hour bar. You got the rest slash restaurant cafe. Then it's a barber shop. Then it's an income tax place. You know what I mean? So the old man owned the whole corner of El Gondo and uh, Avalon. Mm -hmm. And so. Uh, I'm fresh out of YA, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Remember I told y'all, but I was explaining about, no, this was my old talk show, but I had a couple of my first bodies and my attempted bodies in 79, 78. I paralyzed a nigga, and that's the body that I got convicted for. Okay. You know what I mean? But I beat the other cases, you know what I'm saying? But they threw a body on me. I didn't even do that body. They threw, just threw a body on me, but I fought it and beat it. Yeah, they, welcome to it. That's they, how it, that's yeah. how it go down. It's called, it's called Peter Pay Paul, you know, or one to get the other, you know what I mean? So, anywho... I get out in 82 from doing that bid from 79. I get out in 82, and now as I'm out, I get wind. The homies is going up to this club called Eve at the Dark. Now, I ain't really no club nigga, man, because, you know, like I said, I'm on my wild shit. So I said, I ventured up there and find out what's going on. So I go a few times. Now, when I first start going, I'm on my smash shit. Well, you know, first of all, I don't pay no money nowhere, even right now today. <laughs> It's, if you ain't giving me a, a VIP guest, you're not giving me a guest, then if I got to voluntarily invite myself, then you're not going to like my invite. I'm walking in. That was my attitude then. So when we got there, me and my crew, it was like, what, nigga? We know, first of all, we don't get past us because, yeah, we got guns on us. We got shit, a whole lot of shit on us. Yeah. So we walk in. So I did that a couple of times, and Lonzo was like, man, who's this nigga? Man, he... So he was feeling some kind of way, like, man, what's the, he didn't, now on his story, just recently, cause he, he, he clapped back to oh, what I said, right? Ah, he yeah. clapped back, but with, 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 with just significant agreements, not nothing negative. Okay, but he still clapped back. Right, right, cause he knew, he remembered it. But he was like, I don't remember. He said, yeah, BJ probably got in a few times, but I don't remember all his homies giving no lines, you know goddamn well, I smashed that door every time we came and my troopers was right behind me, feel hmm. me? So anyway, he went to hire this old nigga, this 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 nigga out the army for me, buff nigga, cause I'm on swole. He go so I'm a fresh out swole white nigga. He go get this old nigga, and the old nigga stood his ground. That's the only nigga that fought me up there that gave me, <laughs> you know, put me in a position. So this particular night, after, like I said, this went on for a couple of months. I'm going up there, we smashing, going up there, chilling with the homies, the APBs, the West Sides. This they spot. So this particular night, I go up there. They the switch securities at the door on us. It's the sergeant. That nigga stumped that military style, chest sticking up. I walk right up. Soon I get up, nigga tell me how he got a pass us, man. I got an apple hat on turned sideways. And he say, uh, there ain't no hats. I say, what? I said, nigga, you know who I am, homie? I said, man, I'm, and I'm going to walk past and he moved this way. 
I go to go, he he do one of them. You know, oh. like, you know like your daddy would do you, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you ain't getting in. I said, nigga, no, he see, I know who you are, but he like this with his hand. I know oh, who you are. Oh, he ain't ready. Yeah. He, he ain't go, ready. He don't know, but I'm a young nigga that takes flight. <laughs> and the rest of these niggas with me gonna do the same. Yeah. If they don't do it before me, you feel what I'm saying? So he go, I know who you are. But everybody gets searched. So I turned around on a nigga and let him just hit me a couple times, but I got my pistol tucked right here. He hit me. The homie turned around. Soon he turned around, I went run up the stairs. He come hit behind me. When he come up, he's so busy looking at me. The rest of the homies, he didn't let stop patching them, and he chasing me up the stairs because I go straight up the stairs, past the lady in the window, right on in. And he walked right into my head, niggas out of passing. I said, blood, get the fuck out of here with that shit, blood. Come on, get your ass out of here, nigga. Old ass sergeant arm, blood, wherever the fuck you is, nigga, kept walking. So we walk on around the bar, and I post up by the fan while where he's go. Now he done went back to the door real quick, and then we in. This motherfucker come out of nowhere, bro. Out of nowhere. I had my hat on, man. You know, I had it tilted to the <laughs> side. I'm getting my cool pose in for a minute. All of a sudden, wow, I hit my shit to go smash, and they hit my head like this. Then I say, ain't no hats. And he did it all oh, in damn. one form. And he did it all in one form, all what, but had my hat balled up behind his head like your daddy would do. You know how your daddy said, nigga, I'm going to beat your hat and put your hat behind your back. And I'm going like, hey, nigga. And, try, and I realized, it's this nigga. And I bang back and I, bing, 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 hit him with a two piece. <laughs> Dropped him. That nigga come back like a gorilla. <laughs> Grab my young ass. So I grabbed him, plant my feet, and I put the Bonnie Hound slam down on that nigga. It's bunny hunters stand for everybody don't know out there TV land. It's a technique we all learned is real bunny hunters back in our days when you fighting a nigga. So I grabbed him and as he putting his weight on me, I picked the nigga up with his weight and I'm going like I'm going backwards and I lean sideways on him and flip him. Boom! And slam his ass. <laughs> as I slam him, my relative fire on him. Bam! But that don't knock him. The nigga still up like. So he get up now, hit man on him. Boom, 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 boom. So by this time I jump up, it's cats swinging from everywhere now, right? I'm like, is these niggas with us or are they against us? So by this time, I said, oh, shit. It's a ball out brawl because I see my little homeboy Frog running to us. As he running to us, a nigga catch Frog. It's going Bam. down. It, that's what it's going. Oh, it's home. These niggas trying to rush us. So now the bar is right like four to five feet from the fight started. I broke straight to the bar. I'm going to get bottles now. <laughs> I'm going to secure because there's so many of these niggas coming from everywhere. They didn't, they got so much anger building against my ass. I guess they said that night is this nigga night. <laughs> and that was my night because I didn't know. No, I take that back. Yeah, that's the same damn night. Same night because I fight on him. So I go to the bar, get the bar, get the bottles and shit. As I'm going into the bar, man, to try to get the bottles, that's when I hear the, uh, motherfucker. And I knew it was unknown because he the only tall ass nigga that wore cowboy boots back then. <laughs> You see this tall nigga come down the door, standing with the, the sergeant nigga, he's standing there with cowboy boots because he knew karate, he, so he used to try to intimidate us back then with the karate shit, but nigga, you don't know, I, that's what I study as well, nigga, BKL, feel me? So I come up on it from nine years old, I started at Sheen Way on 103rd and Broadway, you feel me? <laughs> so he was he used to smash on us like young niggas, like try to intimidate niggas, so he wore cowboy boots. He grabbed you? No, he didn't grab me. This, you saw your table or? You know how you, you know how they had a thing you lifted up to get in the bar? Yeah, 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 yeah. I went to go try to lift that motherfucker up and it was stuck like it was locked. So I went, the stupidest thing I could have done, I ducked to go under it to get under the bar. Yeah. And them niggas was behind the bar serving. And that nigga hauled off and kicked me one in one of them old boots. Kicked me with one of them goddamn Charlie Cowboy oh, boots, man. man. Right in my eye, my forehead. I backed up and I was dazed. I said, and somebody else caught me in the back of the head. Boom. I spent on that nigga. I'm like, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I'm just swaying. Boom, 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 boom. So now, one of my other homies come diamond red and pick up the slack off of me. And then here come a couple of the homegirls. And so by that time, we done made it to the door, fought our way out. Oh, you niggas know it's a wrap. Ain't no more Eve at the door. I'm burning this bitch down. <laughs> so I gave myself a good week. I would say a week, and we came back, retaliated. People jumping out windows and jumping off the roof and trying to get up out of it because we come through there and tow up, man. But man. true story. Shout out to the Thank world class the story, man. They rat pack Big Cap, man. They took Big Cap and shit on down, you man. I, I, can't, I can't say. <laughs> you know, show. I don't watch all your shit, so I, I'm just. <laughs> I never heard it. So, I, I, but I definitely want to uh, uh, just uh, take a moment for the Slim 400. Uh, yeah, yeah, what what went down man. with that, man? Um, uh, being on the outside looking in, that you know, I I, I get sick of these stories, really. Yes, because hey, of all of, you know, all of, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. I just the way he went out. Yeah, I hate that he went out. 
That's what I'm saying. Just real soldier shit. Yeah, you but, know what I'm but saying? I, like, fuck I just, it. I, ain't gonna I, like I just, you know, when I look at what's happening with a lot of the artists, right, I right, just be real right. for a minute. You know, they, I don't know what kind of list they got going with these guys, man, but they numbers is coming like that, man. And it's really sad. You know, I hate to see it. I, I look at LD. This is one of my, you know, I listen to his music so much. Dopest music that I hear, you know, from, from our streets, in my perspective of what we, you know, it's therapeutic, you know, yeah. thank mm -hmm. you. Um, but the thing is, man, I just look at the way they, the numbers keep drilling down with all the artists, man. What do you what do you think about that? Well, um, it's good you asked that question because taking him, using him as an example as an artist then, it just shows you that LD obviously has a good team behind him or he has set OGs, people that believe in him, not oh, this nigga making money and they're just users and they're yes men because that means he could tell niggas anything. I'm I'm quite sure he got a nigga that's, hey, nigga, hey, stand down. You fucking up. Because if you fuck up, you fucking up for the rest of us, all of us, and we believe in you. That's what these young dudes, I was just talking about this to Big Ace, my homie Ace, on our way over here. This is what the game is missing because they took it away from the game. It was in the game. They took it away from these youngsters. They don't have what the 90s had. They don't have real dudes behind them that's solid. It's gonna tell you, hey man, you fucking up. No, they got all the little homies, niggas out the hood, off the block. Yes, with you. man. Hey, come here, you, 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 come on, I'ma take you with yeah. me, cause I can give you a couple hundred dollars a month, and yeah. you gonna be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Can't nobody, you, you can't see what's going on in, in in that structure, cause it ain't no structure behind it. When you got structure, you move a certain way. He move a certain way, and he know that he know better. He know not to put himself in certain situations on a regular, because of what the fuck is going on already. He's smart enough and wise enough to see that as an artist. Well. If I'm gonna be somewhere and these are my folks, like okay, like he at Boss Talk right now, right? For prime example, doing this thing at Boss Talk. But now it's a chicken stand down the street. They know when he leave Boss Talk, he go there every week, huh. five times a day. You know what you just did? You publicized to the people as a rich nigga. This is why I hang out every week. So the wolves, man, the jealousy, the envy, the hatred, they gonna alert, bro, and they gonna do their homework. If they don't, they dummies. Cause if I was a nigga in the street of wolf, guess what? That's who I'm going to get. I'm going to get the prey. I'm going to get the nigga who's slipping. Oh, that rich nigga down here and he ain't doing nothing for us? Do my homework. Okay, that nigga spends three days a week down here, y'all. We smashing on that nigga soon he come down here next month. He guaranteed to be here on this particular day. And this is what these dudes are doing, bro. Man, sad, so, man. so cats got to understand as youngsters getting out of this, listen to me, y'all, out there TV land, homie. You a rapper, singer, dancer, actor, model, slash ex stripper, which a lot of y'all are venom. Y'all got yeah. a lot to do with the game that's fucked up right now because y'all misguided and misconstrued. They didn't have fathers had pimps, molested, the whole nine, so it's bigger than y'all. But however, man, listen, man, you youngsters out there, man, when you get out of this shit, that's the whole purpose. When you leave the block, it don't make you no hard nigga, no real nigga, because you got 100000 you worth 200000 and you hanging around these niggas, and they broke. But they your buddies you grew up with. Them ain't the same people you know more and more, nigga. I hate to bust your bubble. Unless they got 100000 in their pocket with you, them ain't the same people. Feel me? So a lot of cats have to really swallow the pill and understand that change of venue. When you make a, a change in your life for success, homie, and you trying to do other shit, everybody ain't going to take that ride. Everybody can't go. So if they can't ride with you and go, they're going to be mad and hate and envy and don't even know why they is. It's because cause they're not in that position. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Already. You know what I mean? You yeah. follow me? So they're not in that position. So it's like a lot of these young cats, man, you got to move a certain way and you got to take this internet IG killing shit as examples, bro. It ain't no game no more. This shit is far fetched beyond y'all control. It's something y'all wouldn't even understand. I ain't going to hit y'all with right now. That's why our big ace is going to hit the airwaves with this shit, man, and let niggas know, man. But you young dudes need to realize, homie, have a security Having safety because it's around you is the thing to fucking do. Don't let nobody tell you differently. You fuck your jury. Fuck all that fake shit. Spend your money protecting yourself so you can continue your ladder and achieve your goals I agree with and succeed. That. Yeah. And I guarantee you, you'll see the shit on a whole different way, man. Different life, man. Yeah. You, you ain't gonna live long out here running around with the homies because them niggas ain't professionals. So you gotta they move different, right? You, you have got, to. You have to. When you get a certain, you have to, on a bro. certain level, like some of the guys that have passed, you know, here recently, you would have thought that they would have been, they, you get too comfortable. 
Because in your in your neighborhood or wherever, listen, if you if you get too comfortable, man, listen, and, man, and and, and just go to show go, you, just go to show you. My one of my cats, he got sick last week when I was leaving out. But I have two dudes that work for me. This my my personal arm gear security, and they arm personally. Feel me? And if they aren't at me, I'm on. So this is why dummies only understand the game of life. And it's like, why niggas are so naive and dumb? So I heard a couple of ki young kids had the nerve to question me because I'm fresh out of a flight. Then me and Spliff connect. We I got Spliff doing a vlog. We live in the Nixon Garden. I got one of my arm niggas with me. But you don't know, this ain't my homeboy. This ain't no nigga off the block. This a military militant right here. And the same way I would go, he going. And he going to make sure ain't nothing going on with Big Cap. Because I'm a thinker. Yeah, I'm in my hood, but I ain't just in my hood. I'm moving around LA, I'm moving, period. You think I give a fuck because I'm in my hood? One of these young, stupid young John motherfuckers said, man, that niggas killed my daddy or nigga shot my uncle back in the day and right. walk right up now and right. have some heart and say, ah! Yeah. Because it fucking happens. See, I'm I smart enough to that. know this. I live in reality, homie. I ain't a dummy. No, and I get so it. So I move strategically. I move a certain way, my niggas. I, and I, and and I that's think you the, have to. That's my advice to all you young dudes out here, all the young cats, bro. Start moving a certain way. And get rid of all these motherfuckers you got in your circles, dog. That really don't mean you're no good. Them is the niggas that's really setting you up. Them the integral plots. The closest motherfuckers who you got around you, it's easier to get to you. Who you? All I gotta do is manip manip manipulate him. Feel me? Think about it. You in you in this cast little inner circle, but you 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 fuck with me and respect me highly. And I'm a wolf, though. I ain't in y'all circle, but I want that nigga. It's easy for me to manipulate you and tell you, nigga, look, nigga, we gonna put you in position. You gonna be the nigga, but we gotta get rid of that nigga. Your nigga, we gotta, he gotta go. Oh well, shit, all right, homie. Manipulation right there, and this is what's going on. All it's it's coming in all type of fashions, bro. So it's like a lot of these young dudes. The whole object of getting out the hood is not to go back, homie. Definitely. It don't make you tough. Just like niggas going to jail and going to prison. And don't be listening to all these niggas on the internet too talking about, oh, I did 25, 30 years. If he ain't talking about the 25, 30 years he did and how reformed he is and he can show you right now today he's still irrelevant and this is what his life mean, then he ain't giving you no inspiration, little homies. Fuck them niggas. Don't be listening to these niggas. I don't wow. give a fuck about you niggas doing I didn't do 30 straight, nigga. I did it broken up. But I did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it. But yeah, don't matter. You can't. Yeah, you I slice and dice so, yeah. you want so, to. So, so, it got done. So I'm not going to get on here. Straight, but I did it. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to get on here. That was an unexpected yeah. bar right I ain't going to get on here. <laughs> that was an unexpected bar. Oh, yeah. because I did time. No, I, when I did time, to me, that's stupid, stupid and dumb fine because I'm yeah. smart. Yeah, I'm smart enough to make you feel bad when you're smart. get me. Because the smart niggas in the middle here, they've been rich. They ain't never been down because they were smart. That's right. A wise man always told an old dude told me, I mean, they don't make, it don't, listen, bro. Gangsterism ain't come from cause you go to jail. It's a part of the package. Don't get me wrong. It's a part of the package because it falls with the consequences. And you better be prepared for it when it happens. That's all that means. But nigga, that don't make you a hard nigga cause you go to jail. You know how many cats out here, man, successful and used to be in the streets and was somebody. Cause they were smart, bro. Ain't never touched that jail. Wow. My little homie Squeak Groove was a prime example. I was doing a show on my on my channel, me, him and, 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 and um Real Tune TV. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. And Squeak, I didn't even know this. And Squeak told me right then there, he was like, big homie, you know, believe it or not, man, you know, out of all the shit, men in the streets and men involved and men and youngster, man, he from NHP, neighborhood part of uh, Inglewood. He was like, man, I, I never touched the yards. I'm like, Squeak, you ain't never been down? See, for us, that's like common. Like, no, nah, nigga, you ain't no gangster, no real gang, but you ain't never been to the pen. But he ain't never been in the pen. And that's smart. That's a good thing. Right. You feel what I'm saying? No, that's real. So my thing, man, to just end it, end it on, that, and on that note for us, the youngsters out here, man, start moving a certain way and move strategically, man. You know, uh, take this internet as real good fucking homework, man. Stop looking at this shit as entertainment. If you're a real artist out here and you're really trying to escalate your life and you're really trying to succeed and achieve goals, get your family out of poverty, man, take this shit as what it is, man, as far as homework. And build yourself, build your brand a certain way than like others, man, and move differently, my nigga. If not, man. you're gonna be caught up in the cycle out here, bro. Man, you, somebody else is next. You did a great job on this interview, man. Let me just say that, man. I I, I don't so even know much. how I'm, I'm, I'm how I'm gonna cut and dice this. I'm in my mind. I'm already trying to figure it out before I even get to the editing part of it. But anyway, it's gonna Please be great. Please take out that part. No, I ain't taking out none of this. this I'm year, fucking with it's you. going down. No, <laughs> no, I just, you know, um, you know, when I look at, you know, you guys, man, the culture is very, very, it, it, it has 
permeated the world, bro. Um, people in other countries are even trying to emulate what you guys uh, started in L.A. Um, but the whole game is at this point when you get to be my age and uh, I, I don't know how old y'all is. I'm just going to talk about me. And my deal is to try to help to help to try to figure it out where it's at right that's, now. That's you the, know, that's, that's, the pers- that's important. That's where we should be at it today. That's why I said, man, you know what? I, I see it's going to have to be me. It's, yeah. it's got to be me. I, and that's it's dope. has to be me to get up here on these platforms, bridge these gaps, and tell other so-called OG niggas, look, homie, stop, cut out all the bullshit, get out your feelings. If we really going to do this, we really got to do this, so we got to lead by examples to these people, man. We can't be playing. Because if you're on here, you arguing, and you going back and forth with the buffoonery and shit, what does that say? That doesn't set the stakes right, bro. We being hypocrites. So it's like, look, nigga, if we're going to save these lives, let's get on here and really do what we're supposed to do. Let's collectively come together, all together, and let's really spit this real dialogue of change. And the change of venue is this, man, giving these kids something to go on, bro. Everybody can't be a rapper and get out the hood. Everybody mm-hmm. can't be a Michael Jordan, a basketball can't player. Where the doctors, homie? Where the firemen? Y'all want to, y'all bitching about the police? Then where the homie off the block who became a police and a detective? Even though he on the other side, but he's working on the inside for the betterment for y'all future. Yeah. See, y'all not thinking, man. So it's like we, we have to, we have to really, really come together collectively, dog, to bridge that gap of change. If not, we ain't gonna see no change. It's just be cast like me speaking to other cast and cast like itself who's pushing the line and envelope. For positive and certain things, man. And then you got your your, your Charlestons and your 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 your, your Supremes over here. And and your yeah. you, you got all these dudes in different directions, but we're not together. Yeah, but, yeah. but a lot but of us can we kind do of, it? Can we do it? It ain't nope. possible. Can we do it? You said it no. Possible. Hell no. Nah. Y'all thought I was going to come with the... You ain't going to say you, know, you wanted me to put it the happy ending. No, no, no. I, 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 <laughs> nah, I really it ain't that's just an opinion. I'm asking you. But, but it's first, not impossible. First of all, it's possible. With, 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 God, with God, 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 listen. Go. With God, all things are possible for me. Wait, I'm going to be honest wait, with wait, you. Wait, wait, ask him. What? I think you should ask him to quit. Re- Let me ask Reiterate him. the question. Maybe he may be talking. He may be thinking you talking about the other individuals involved. Maybe No, no. I'm thinking on a whole, Can can there be... Can we get something to where we can move the needle toward positivity with our people, what man? What you mean, like between niggas? Between yeah, us. First of all, us three uh, at this table. Us three at this uh, table, you know, yeah. Can you, you can get, get on, on one accord That's what it's either. about, bro. It, it, you can't change uh, the world, but you can change your world. Well, we're already showing right? that right now. Exactly. We, we're showing that. We show so that, that right that's now. That's something we gotta we gotta keep that going because a lot of times people think it's not changing because you can choose to look at the bad, right, right, and ignore the good that's happening. I mean, listen, right? man, we 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 are three kings, man, from three different walks of life, and Correct. we're showing that right now by leading by example. So if nothing else, some youngster, some woman, some single mother, some grandmother, some auntie, some brother, some older dude, somebody's gonna walk away with something from what we just designed today. That's all that matter to me. That's Dope. all that matter to us. Dope. It don't matter. Yeah, we can't change the world. It's like, you know, we say, his opinion is, no, it's impossible. <laughs> no, no, and just, I, and just, hold on, no, no, don't get me wrong. Look. Uh, in a lot of aspects, I feel the same way for certain things, too. Because I, <laughs> it brings us back to us as niggas. Yeah. Until we get out that culture of nigga shit, no, I, I have to agree with him in a sense. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna because tell you right now. Going, I think that I think this changes. I'm going back to that uh, to Nino C- Cappuccino. I'm gonna stay away from uh, BJ. BJ, oh, I'm, a, I'm I'm over here with Nino. Okay, okay. Yeah. Nino, the, the the guy who's doing the movies and the books. So, yeah. oh, let me, can I ask you? Can I ask you this quick question? Who am I speaking to let right me ask now? You this quick question, right there. <laughs> Nino. I'm yeah, we you, can talk. I'm asking you this question. And his, both of y'all the same question, right? Now, do you know the difference between nigga business and business? Nigga hmm. business and business. Yeah. Let's clarify. Okay. Me, I don't do nigga business. Because if I got to do nigga business with you, that means two things. I got to result back to that other character. Yeah. Because you're going to lie to me. You're going to give me falsified ass promises. You're going to have me meet you somewhere. And I'm going to be on time. You're going to be late or yeah, not yeah. even show up. Yeah. Nigga shit. I don't do nigga business. I'm yeah. Corporate taught me that. When I stepped up out of my elements of the streets, and then my big homies taught me that in the game, not to do nigga business. So I was already prepared for it for corporate. So when I go in here and I'm and sitting, I'm sitting in front of this billion dollar Jew boy. I talk his terms as I supposed to. He's not a threat to me. He's not intimidated to me because I don't do nigga business. I'm here to do corporate business with you. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So the whole thing is a lot of this shit is structured under nigga business. Mm. That's why it's so sloppy the way it is, bro. 
Yeah. So until we learn Facts. to corporize ourselves, man, and to move from a corporate perspective. Prime example, when I walked into your facility, the first thing you said, hey, Nino, I'm gonna need you to sign that paperwork. What I'm exactly. gonna go, go crazy for, hey, what, what, what paperwork? Cause Some I understand, niggas try. Cause I understand business. <laughs> I ain't, I'm not signing my life over this man. Exactly. I'm signing the consent, consent man. form. That's all it I'm is. I'm signing the form that I'm getting on this man's show because I do it to my show. That's, it's business. You man. the only one. It ain't like your me. fucking <laughs> feelings. It ain't personal. These other it's niggas business. Ain't doing it. Yeah. You know what most, I'm saying? Most so until, are until, until we paperwork. get on that yeah. level, bro, to understand that shit, this is why it's nigga business. It's nigga shit. So yeah. that's why the impossible comes in. With the young homie. You say, no, impossible. Because yeah. niggas is going to be niggas. Regardless, yeah, I had to really like that's that's real. Well, I, like I said, even me, with all the but, goodness, but, but, you still gonna be a still, nigga, niggas still, gonna be niggas. And I still look at it as like me linking with you, linking mm -hmm. with you, watching the me needle go like that. You know, watching us go go somewhere. You know, it, it's this is a step, a start. Yeah, it's a start. Yeah. That, that's what. And everything takes progress and evolution, bro. It, it, and I don't put no one person in no one spot and leave them there like they can't change either. I know that God's big enough to change. You changed. You changed from BJ to Nino. So that pro yeah, process. Yeah, but he changed back to BJ when he when yeah, necessary. But when yeah, dealing with niggas. Yeah, but he trying to go. He trying niggas. to move forward. <laughs> though, right? Watch this. He. I can't wait. Cause to he 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 just answered it for me because I was going to tell you, <laughs> and he absolutely right. That be the only time because I know. Okay, I got to get a message across to this nigga because if I tell him from Nino's perspective, he gonna look at me like what nigga. So let me go into BJ so this nigga know off. But top. that's everybody though. Nah, not everybody. But, I mean, it's, people. It's, I mean, it's, far, it's, far it's, as far as it's called the adaption, bro. See, I adapts. But look, no matter what, you, where you I'm at, at, look at somebody that's like, like you got a good side of a person and a and a, and a oh, yeah. don't bring that's, that part out of me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so right, that, right, right. that's always happening. But hey, man, uh, thank you for coming on the show, man. Is it any? How can people get a hold to you, man? From we in Dallas, Texas, man. So how can people get a hold to you if they want to talk and uh, say, hey, oh, man? Oh, you know, I'm all over the place on IG, man. You go follow my IG pages, man. Two Trio West. Records, Cappuccino Films Inc., uh, Rules of Engagement Podcast Media, Team Cappuccino Merch. Go subscribe, man. If you haven't subscribed, man, go push that like, share button, Team subscribe at my YouTube merch. page, man. Yeah, that's my merch page, what, man. What, what my shirt at or something, man? Well, see, I'm, I'm launching the first of the year. I'm I, like, I, I make mine, sure I mail man. something to you, man. I got yeah, you. So I got you. Babe, just get his you. address or something. Get yeah, his website. I got you. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> got you. <laughs> I mean, we gotta get, I gotta get my pick on the wall hey, with this shit, man. You feel me? That's happening so, anyway. Yeah, man, reach, you in the reach out to me on YouTube, man. Rules of engagement, you know what I mean? And it's been a pleasure, man, to be man, here on Boss you, Talk, man. man. Come on, you know Boss I mean? Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Let me rephrase that, man, because this is the second time he didn't correct yeah, me. Yeah, Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk 101. And you know, it's crazy, because when I first looked you up, you know, get the car, looked you up, I said, is this nigga out of Cali? Because he using 101. That's the 101 freeway. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? I, yo, no, I had to tell you the story yeah, on this. I said, 101, no, that's the 101 no, freeway. You, you have to put and that in there, man. And it threw me off, because I kept, yeah, I said, no, stupid. No, it's I said, is he Cali? No. I said, damn. I said, 101, see, Cali, oh, this is going to be good. No, the 101, it's going to be good, it no, 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 no. Let me rephrase it. But you two, hey, but you two things are dynamic, man. <laughs> no, but the one on one, I feel like if you look at like radio stations and everybody, there has to be some numbers in it. Man, Most catch. people ain't it on it catch. like that. You gotta, right. you gotta throw something man, in there with phrase. it. Yeah, Boss talk one on one. Bam. And I uh, know you know what? <laughs> it makes sense. Now. It makes sense. One on one. one. That is it's basic one. conversation yeah, right, about right. One -on -one. boss talk. Right, you know. Right, right, but right. thank you so much for coming on the show. We love you, man. Definitely, man. Nino Cappuccino, man. man. You in the building? Yes, You've been on Boss Talk one on one now. LD three hundred. Do you got anything else for this man? Man, appreciate the homie coming. Showing love, man. It's always good when they when we come down and try to be, bridge them gaps, and the the dialogue is necessary. So Very having necessary. it having it on camera, it's where we at with it. It got to be had on camera so the people can have a full understanding about where it, where it's at and where it's trying to go. Wow. And man. I just want to see, man. Last but not least, man. See a lot of you niggas out there be wearing these king hats, right? <laughs> you be wearing a king, but you don't know what it means. Stands for kicking a nigga cigar and sucker. <laughs> also, I want to say, man, uh, I want to stand my posture oh, again as go. a real woo woo yeah. to my young homie, yeah. man. He didn't say what I thought he said, yeah. man. It was Mr. We Screw. It like was that. Mr. Screw dialogue, yeah. man. Hey man, man let, I love y'all for having so me, much, man. You thank know you, you gotta get three, back in the game, man. I'm, 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 I'm coming my to niggas. see you watch. I'm gonna come on the man. show up. Likewise, man. Thank you so and much, also, man. Also, man, shout out to my partner in crime, man, Uncle Spliff Media, man. The baddest of the baddest, man. Spliff, we doing our shit, man. Yeah. Big Ace, we in the building, man. Hey, man. Yeah. Watch. Check it, w -A -T -T man. W-A-T-T-S. We are talk to fucking survive. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101.